Hi, this is Jeff Joker on WeKindNetworks.com. Uh, today I'm going to be teaching you the structure of voids. Uh, voids are very simple ways to really cut down repetitive code. Um, Alright, so this is going to be a very simple tutorial, I think. So. If you don't think so, please pay attention. All right. Mm. So Let's call our void. Let's declare our void here. Let's put void. Uh, hello. Now, this is our void, our main function. It is the name of the void is hello. And if we are, want to call it, we will. If we wanted to use the void, we would use the name hello. So let's type in the code that we want to repeat. Okay. Now, what I did is I used this void hello to type to to use this C out hello and del line. Now if every time I want to use this piece of code right here, all I have to do is call my void. Hello. Now if I compile this it'll give me an error saying that I need to first declare hello so what I will do is I will declare it up here and that lets me use it throughout the whole integer main There you go. Uh, let's see, it prints out hello. And I didn't even have to type this out. Now, if you want a another a, a way, practical way for this to work for you, here's how. Now, if you've been paying attention, you realize that I have three declarations of void. Hello. That means that C out, hello, and del should go out three times after each system pause. There's one, two, and three. it really helps cutting down your code uh... this is a very short application so it really has no use however if you're declaring the same uh... the same sentence over and over line it'll really really help you out uh, there are there is more with voids that can be accomplished but this is all i'm going to go through on this tutorial uh, thank you. If uh, you need any more help, please go to www.reconnetwords.com and uh, join the forums. Uh, thanks.